correct, gotta set the mood. <laughs> gotta set the mood, man. So how do you do this? How do you build better relationships? I have six points here. And each of these points are broken down to like three guidelines. This is something that I've kind of like praised myself on. And I all, like I really, really want other people to kind of see this as well. Because I feel like this right here can be beneficial to anybody. The category is wrong for the game, I know. But um, I still feel like this can be very beneficial. So my goal here is to play some music in the background. And the reason why I'm gonna play some music in the background because the it just goes better with the slide. So yeah, so the first thing I was thinking about was like building better relationships. How do you do that? You have to find streamers that are similar to you that are relatable. That's kind of like what I said earlier. If you can find relatable streamers, then things will be much easier down the line. These streamers like the same thing that you like. They can learn from you. You can learn from them. And you have to be consistent with that. But find streamers that are relatable to you and similar to you. It'll help a lot. Also, find new and struggling streamers that need support. Now, this is the whole thing, but don't don't really care about um, small streamers or don't support small streamers. Look, we're all, we all were small at one point. We all needed help. Some of us are better because of that. So help those new streamers. Give them the support that you wanted when you started. Why? It'll build a rapport and a bond that you wouldn't even believe. So definitely try that out. Like, yeah, I think that'd be really, really epic, man. Um, outside of that, you also want to find people to co-stream and play games with. So this goes with the other two. As you're finding streamers that are similar to you, as you're finding new streamers, these streamers are going to want to play games, and these streamers are also going to want to join in in your games. So do that. You build relationships like that. Other people on Twitch will see it. They'll want to join in also, man. It's really, 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 really contagious, co-streaming. It's, it's something that everybody wants to do, but it's hard because you, don't, you can't find that many people. Take advantage of it. Also, this is tricky, right? You want to meet people that don't stream but like to watch. That, that sounds weird, right? No, actually, when you think about it, you want to meet stream, streamers that don't really stream but they have time to sit on Twitch and watch other streamers. These people are going to be your go-to supporters. You get them in a the Discord. You treat them like every other streamer. You support them however they need to be supported. But these people are going to be the ones that are going to look at your stream a lot. The last thing I want to say, which just kind of fed into what I just said, is meet streamers with other skill sets. What does that mean? Some of us are good at tech. Some of us are good at video games. Some of us are skilled in knowing a lot about manga and comic books. If you're that type of streamer that likes that type of information or lacks that type of knowledge, you want to literally bond with those people. Meet people with other skill sets. This is going to help you create content that is unique to yourself. How? Well, think about it. If you're creating content that is unique to yourself, you can actually look back at this content and pinpoint the things you like doing and the things you don't like doing. But the main point, point is that you can sit down and watch a three-hour stream that you created. If you can do that, other people can do it also. Unless you're like self-centered and can accept anything. But yeah, outside of that, other people can watch dope streams. So be expected to have a lot of people watching them. Especially if you enjoy it. If you can laugh at your stream, sheesh. Why shouldn't the other people? There we go. Create well-branded and unique content. I feel like what I'm doing right here, I hopefully, hopefully it's unique, but well-branded is having your logos, having your support teams. I had something else on the side here, but I don't see it at the moment. I'll have to figure it out a little later, but um, yeah. Branded content, having your name there, make it unique. Make it so that nobody else can say, hey, you took that from me. This is all has to be unique. Hey, guys, if you're writing in a chat, I'm going to check with you in a second. Um, create content that reflects your personality. Yo, in the beginning, I wasn't doing that. Now, the content that I'm doing reflects my personality. You see Green Lantern in the background, kind of? He does, his ring is based off the things that he likes and things that he doesn't like, and he brings it forth with willpower. You want to do that. Make content based off your personality and your willpower to develop the special things that you like. It keeps going. Rule number three, keep learning skills and put them to use. That's kind of obvious, right? So what I mean is learn any skill that can benefit your brand and business. 
So if you want something to be in your stream, you need to learn those skills to make it happen. You can also meet other people with those skill sets, but it's good for you to learn it also. This is how you're going to grow overall. So you want to make sure that you put that all in. If you do that, your streams will be even better. So definitely think about that. Uh, apply all of those skills as needed to create content. Like if you can do that, skills to make your content creative and unique to yourself. You know, you see everything that I'm saying here falls on top of each other and they go over and over again. You have to apply those skills as you need, right? Share those skills with your community and your supporters. A lot of people are like, hey, I don't want to teach this person that. I don't want to teach this person this. You can't be like that. You, you have to be open and you have to be willing to share your ideas. This is how new ideas and new formations are all created. So make sure that you're open-minded when you do this also. Make sure that as much as you're sharing, you're getting information back. Just make sure that's, you know, boom. And finally, keep learning new skills. I mean, a lot of the list here seems repetitive, but that's the whole point. You have to keep learning new skills to better your brand. Like, I've seen some streamers that started from scratch and now they're like, boom, everything they did for themselves. They got help from their supporters and their community, so I'm not gonna say that you know they didn't do everything, but majority of it is from the skills that they learned. But that all goes into you pretty much just practicing your craft until it's mastered. Practice, practice, practice. You're gonna start off really slow, but by the end you're gonna turn into something really, 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 really better. So become a master at what you're already good at. So as well as you're learning new skills, never forget your old skills. You're going to use those skills to turn into something even better. Because once you master it, it becomes easier for you to complete tasks that require certain skills. So that's why it gives you more time to learn even more skills down the line. So that's definitely something you want to take a look at. Learn the best tips and the shortcuts to help you effectively. You see that? As you learn your skills, you get to lessen the time it takes to do things. So as you're learning certain skill sets, learn the tips and the shortcuts within those skill sets. I'll tell you now, by doing that, you'll be able to complete more projects and more tasks faster. And repetition, consistency. This is not something you're gonna do right away. No, you have to do this on a consistent, consistent, consistent level. Be creative when creating new content and creative concepts. It kinda sounds like what I said before, right? Be creative. That's where you throw your own style in there. I think Barlos was talking about this earlier with the, with the garage man. You, you do take the beat, but you throw your own style in there. And you create new concepts that nobody else has done. So that's something you also want to pay attention to. Creating new concepts can be dynamic. It can definitely hit the spot. But definitely for people that are trying to grow. And you know, we're, we're getting down to the nitty gritty, but here we go, right? Redefine yourself without changing too much. As you grow, you're going to want to do all these different things, right? So like above, learn the skills needed to improve you. But don't change yourself. Like stay core to what you want to show people and stay core to how you want your image to be shown. But use the skills that you've learned to be the best you that they can ever be. That's one tip that I'm gonna, I, I can not stress no more than anything else. Like that's the biggest tip here, this is like the longest portion of my video, <laughs> is like learn everything. Put everything I just said, put into one big book bag, put it on your back, and then go through it and learn it. But don't change who you are. Keep your foundation the same. But use everything you learn to be something that you didn't even think you can be. Like, yeah, man. And then lastly, this is optional, but once you feel satisfied with your growth, which you shouldn't feel satisfied with your growth until you get to that point you really want to be. But once you feel satisfied with your growth and you realize that what you were portraying isn't what you really 
want to portray, rebrand if necessary. So like me, I changed, well, I didn't change my name, but I changed my image a few times, right? I changed my icons a few times. Then I came up with the Savage Dragon icon for the community. Then I have my own icon for me. That happened a few times, but I still stayed core to who I was for the most part, right? And then it's also like, hey, you also want to change, I gotta pull Spotify, right? <laughs> you also want to change your logo and name as needed. I kind of jumped the beat here, but this is kind of the next step. Depending on what route you went and what skills you bring into your streaming, you want to change your logo and change your name as needed. You may not need to do any of that. This is all optional. Some people don't even do this, but a rebrand can never hurt. It might take one focus and one group of people that are watching you and bring in a whole nother group of people that you didn't even know existed. And lastly, make sure whatever you do decide to show your supporters and whatever skills you decide to master, make sure it fits what you're trying to do. So this is why the rebrand is very tricky. You might have something going good. You might just need to learn skills to better that. But there may be some times where you want to add other stuff in. You have to be sure it doesn't change your overall image to what you want to show people. But yeah, I'm kind of talking longer than a video, but that's the little 10 minute short that I made. Hopefully, you know, it kind of hit you guys and hopefully that helped. Um, I, I talk a lot and I think I need some more water. <laughs> but once again, I, I really appreciate confidence.